hello hello welcome to ai streets in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, edit your images how to package it and how to upload it on creative fabrica platform if you don't have a shop there you need to sign up to be a member and then you can go down here if i can reach down oh it doesn't stop you go down here and here says open a store you sign in and then you open a store okay they will show you what to do you follow the prompts and then you open the shop and here are the benefits of having a shop okay <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to um, upscale your AI image and how to list it in Creative Fabrica if you have a shop there. Okay, let's go. This is one of my images. I have more of them. I've created them in, in um, ChatGPT and I will show you how I'm going to... Um, edit them in canva i go to canva i create a design i'll go with um this one 8.5 by 11. i choose the 8.5 by 11 inch okay go to uploads i upload all my videos this is one of them here they are i pick them all of them and i'll load them up load them up I'll add one more page and then I'll choose another one okay yeah I have six I'll go to the first one right here right here I will select it and I'll go to edit photo for this process you need to have Canva Pro if you don't have Canva Pro I will leave a link in the description below where you can get 30 days free of Canva Pro. Okay. And I will click on BG Remover. We will remove the background. Okay. The background is removed. I will bring this down. Okay. And then I will drag this up here. And drag this up here. Okay. We have a pretty big image. I will center it. And now I will go to my filters here and I will go to the fresco and it changes the color. If you see that, let's see. This is none. It's a little bit, a little bit lighter, but with a fresco, it gets another tint over it. And then I will um, bring it a little bit to the back. Okay. I have my first image. I'll go to this. Okay, let's go to this one. We will do the same with all of them. Okay okay here you have it i'll drag it here mm -hmm. and then i will enlarge it enlarge it really well okay and i'll go to my filter and i add a, a filter over it and i'll make it a little bit okay this this process we will do on all of them okay now we have done all the all the files remove the background and um change the colors a little bit let's see this one let's go to edit photos oh yeah we did okay okay now i have done all of them i will go here to share and I will download them as um, I will download them with transparent background, and I'll download them as a printable PDF. You can download them as PNG also. It's up to you. Let's say PDF for printing, and then I will download them. Okay. 
I named them prayer praying women. So I have the the file for praying women together. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do. So I have a zip file in my computer already. So the next thing I'm going to do, I go to magic switch. If you want, you can do it in another page, but I'll choose magic switch and I'll I'll choose this size. I'm working with pixels. I'll choose 750 by 500 pixels. That is for creative fabric. You need to have it. All your file will be upload. Your uh, mock-up will be upload. So I'll switch this to that. Be I can switch uh, uh, freely and, and without any bother in my mind because I know I have downloaded the PDF already, the files already. I'll choose this and I'll click continue. And it is. it will ask me if I want to copy or resize it. Or if I will resize this design, like copy and copy this design, co not copy the whole template, everything here, and resize this. Or if I just want to resize uh, this, this all, all these pages I have, I'm just gonna ask to uh, resize it. If you want, you can copy and resize. It's up to you. Okay, now the the page is 750 pixels by 500. This is a uh, um, great for creative fabric i will move this one here okay and i'll go here i'll duplicate this one and i'll bring her here okay i'll go here and now now i will copy because the it's too long to go here to drag it i copy it and i paste it okay go back this one copy and i paste it Okay, and I go to the last one. All right, um, Control C, and I'll paste it. Okay, now I'm going to arrange them on my page. I'm gonna select all, make them smaller. Okay, I'm going to do it simple. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do it fancy. Put this one here and this one here. I go to position, tidy up, and I bring them to the bottom. No, I'll leave them here. I'll leave them here. I'll bring this to the front. Go to position. Um, forward. This one too. Forward so that you can see their faces. This one forward. And this one right here. I'll put her like this so you can see her face too. Okay, so we have all of them. Now I'm just going to get uh, uh, something from here like this. Okay, and I'll bring it down here. I'm not going to leave it brown. You can. Okay, the brown color is nice. I'm going to duplicate it and I'll make it. Um, let's say white. Now we get a little bit smaller. And then I'll fit it in here. Okay. Let's uh, move it a little bit to this side. Okay. Move it a little bit here. Okay. Now we can write in it. Um, like five. Five praying women. I say five pray. Praying women. Designs. Okay. Smaller. Let's see twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Okay. Very well. You can write more stuff here. What you want is up to you. Five. And then you can add your your your, your business uh, logo on it. But I think this is good. This is good for Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to download only this, okay? Share. Go to download. We're going to do a PNG of it. We're going to select here. Ungroup all. 
uh, deselect all I mean and then select uh, page one download and download and this is what we're going to upload in Creative Fabrica stay tuned now we are in Creative Fabrica I'll go to um, let me see here dashboard I'll go to dashboard and I'll go to add graphic and here and then you have here to upload your product I'm going to upload my things first my product image is like the the mock-up in the beginning this one you see it takes it and the files is the one that we did in the beginning this one oh it won't take it i need to zip that file i need to zip that file right click right click compress to zip file and this is it praying woman let's go <clears throat> praying woman right here it will run up to up to 100 percent you always have to pay attention to your mock-up this one here okay 100 percent okay we have those then we'll go back here and then we have it praying women african american african american let's say i'll say i'll put mothers praying oh no it's okay mothers that's all we can put category um let's 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 drag it down to see what they have okay let's go down oh look at this ai generated you have ai generated things too so you can have ai generated illustrations transparent pngs you can choose that one and then you're going to describe here um five Praying women. Um, always women images in PDF file. Um, the size. The size. They are eight point five by eleven. The size is eight point five by eleven inch. And then you say these images are great for the creation of cards um, bookmarks um, notebook covers covers social media listings okay and um there are more things that you need to write down i can come up with them now and then tags um praying women praying women african american they have braided hair ha hairstyle they have they are mothers you can say they are um Better hairstyle. Let's say they are um, 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 um. Let's say Christians. Christians. They they dress modest, modest, modest dressed women. You can put praying women. Come on, praying women, praying mothers. Praying mothers and all that, and then you choose your your things, your keywords, and then here it says consider as freebie. 
It's selected, your grammar will be free of a week and you will receive $20. Consider for pick and mix. Consider for discount deals and stuff. And um, then when your customer wants to order multiple commission licenses, well. these things are very discovered. This and you choose what you want, okay? You choose what you want. If they give you the $20, that means after that they will be selling it and you won't get anything anymore. Consider for pick and mix. Okay. I don't know which one you want to choose. I'll put this one for the sake of the video. By clicking this box, I confirm that I agree with sending conditions. And then you submit it. Okay, there's something wrong here. Fill in the required fields. Okay, let's go back. What's the required field? Oh, the price. Let's say, I don't know how much you want to sell your images for. I have five there. Let's say I sell them for, um, let's see, they say the price. I sell them for, let's say, $6. Let's say you put them for $6. And go down and then submit it. And then it will be submitted to, your work has been submitted and all that. And, no, 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 no. and then you're done. And when it's uh, approved, it will be available in your store, in your shop. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you, let me know in the comment section. If you want to learn how to generate AI images to sell as graphics on um, on the, these different platforms, let me know in the comment section. I will give you the link. I think I will put the link in the comment section. Canva also new. The Canva Pro will help you to um, edit your images to sell. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.